For God so what? Loved, loved the, world the world that he gave. His only begotten son. His only, he gave his only yes. begotten son. His precious one. Mm. Amen? Yes. That, 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 that we may have an opportunity to walk right. To yes. talk right. Yes. To, and, and, and when Jesus came, Jesus fulfilled what? All of the thou shalt not. And only as, as John sits down in front of the camera, amen, and only, only that we should do two things. Love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind. And then it turns around and says, love our neighbor, neighbor <laughs> as we love ourselves. Isn't that really saying something about ourselves? We can't love our neighbor because we can't love ourselves. We can't appreciate our neighbor because when we look in the mirror, we can't appreciate ourselves. Is it because we are so busy running and doing this and running and doing that that we've just gotten tired and, and we feel like we have put out and we feel somebody needs to put out for me? Yes. What is it? What has happened in this day, in this time, and in this season? You know, you hear a lot of, uh, of, uh, of uh, opinions about what's really going on. Someone says, oh, well, you know, it's that way because equal rights. You know, Shivery is dead. The women want to be in charge. They'll sit the men down. Or the women say the men can sit down and they ain't doing what they're doing. Everybody is looking for a reason to shut people up, to put people down, to not show love towards each other. But we keep forgetting what did Jesus tell us to do? Love God with all of our hearts, with all of our souls, with all of our mind, and then it says what? Love our what? Neighbor as we love ourselves. And I was just doing a little bit until Brother Curtis came in and he could take over or I could review, but, but, but I just want to make you realize the key to this of being an empowered servant is to love self that you might love others. Mm -hmm. And when you learn to love yourself and then you see others, you will be able to, 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 to love and, and, and see them and look beyond their faults and see their needs. Uh, All right, brother. Good. 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 Amen. God bless you. We are um, sorry we're running late Good. here. But um, this is a powerful lesson here. Powerful. Yeah. Service. It's, um, it's a wonderful lesson here um, um, from the book of Romans. Paul is writing to these Romans. He's trying to let them know that they have an opportunity. He's writing to a mixed congregation of, of Jews and Gentiles, and he's coming in and he's coming and let them know that there is something that they must do. Powerful, powerful lesson. This is one, and I heard the pastor talking about this earlier, one where he's coming in and giving staunch, powerful, direct directions to this people. Um, he comes in, and we are in Romans 15, um, 1 through 13 first, and I know you all have reviewed this thus far, but he comes in and he says this uniquely in that first verse, who we who are strong ought to put up with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Powerful, powerful statement. Now, do you think that that's easy to do? To go ahead, he says, we who are strong ought to put up, and this is from the NSB version, in, in RSV, we who are strong ought to put up with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Is that easy to do? Mm. What, what, what do people in this society do now? What do most people think about who? Self. Self. Self-centered. Self-centered. Self Number one, to think about what I want, where I need to be, what I want to achieve, where I want to be, and that I have to do and preserve myself. I'm not going to take a chance on this person or utilize my sources to help him when I need, or I, 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 I might need more, or I might need to have something that I must do. So he comes in, and he's trying to come in and tell us to look out for each other. Paul's saying, look out for these. 
If you're strong, and a lot of people take this, if you're strong in physical strength, if you're strong in the spiritual sense, if you're strong in faith, you're strong in, in, in finances, you're strong in, in whatever part of life God has allowed and gave you the guilt and ability to be in, then you ought to be able to help somebody mm -hmm. to come up and have a relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. and let them know that God loves them because he's blessed you. And so when you talk about being strong, it talks about care and concern. You're talking about being blessed of, of your own, sharing your blessing. We have a little song that we often sing. We're going to let the little light that we have shine and shine on others. So he comes in and Paul is telling them this. So he wants these Romans to understand what he's trying to portray and what he's trying to look, say, look out for each other. Okay, so he, comes, he rolls on over to the second verse and he talks about each of us must please our neighbor for the good purpose of building up the neighbor. Now, why do we want to build up our neighbor? What? Okay. What 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 goal what goal should we have in life for everybody? Everybody, God wants everybody to do what? The right thing. The right thing is his job. What else? They want to obey. He want them. Everybody to obey, you right? And, and you copy Dick and Bill. Yeah, you remember that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> you remember that? Like he wants to love, love each other. Pastor talked about it before uh, when I was coming in. That, that you love one another. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love each other because of the fact that he wants us all to come into the kingdom. He wants none of us to be lost. He wants us all to be a part. He wants all to understand. And if you can help somebody to see the light, sometimes it may be just a phone call. It may be just a smile. It may be just speaking to them and saying good morning. I tell you what, I had, I had a little lady and I spoke to her and then it was like opening the, up a, a floodgate. Mm -hmm. She said, you know, ain't nobody said good morning to me or uh, uh, hello at all. Sister so Walt talked about that periodically mm -hmm. in different settings. And, and you have to realize how blessed you are yeah. and how blessed out there. God can let you be a blessing to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And so he comes in and with the purpose of it all is to get everybody on one accord, get everybody aiming and looking at the kingdom, looking at what God has done, who God is, and what he's doing. He comes in and he says this uniquely. Paul wants them to know about Christ. He wants them to know that for Christ did not please himself. But as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. Mm -hmm. Now, he comes in and he lets them know that even Christ, Christ is who? Who is Christ? The Lord and Savior, Son of God, right? Christ, Christ is, is, is the Lord and Savior. He comes in and he's trying to give them an analysis and let them know that even the Son of God had to go through and had yield not to himself but helped others. He, he, he carried the weight of the world on his shoulder. He did all these things uh, for our edification. You know, he comes in and lets let us know that it's hard even when you're right, sometimes you're going to have difficulties. You're going to meet opposition. Do have y'all ever met opposition from folks? Uh, yeah. I know the pastor and, 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 and real power helped. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you meet opposition sometimes. Mm -hmm. But people, and what do you do when you're right? And you know you're right. Mm -hmm. And somebody else comes in and they hold to their point. What do you do for them? What do you do? Do you argue? You should walk away. You uh, should walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Listen. Come and get a reason. Come get and understand. Reason and understand. <laughs> Looking at it and doing it. You know, sometimes it's hard. But I tell people all the time, I've been in cases when I was working in with Sue Reason particularly, how people would come in and I say, I'm sorry. Mm. And I say I'm sorry, even though they're wrong. I say I'm sorry because I want them to understand mm -hmm. that I'm willing to go back and I'm repenting for you and me. 
Because I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing and hurt your feelings. Or to damage you from believing or being able to go into the kingdom. I don't want to set anybody and put anybody. So God has empowered us to be able to take on that difficulty. And when we look at what Christ did for us, he gave us the direction. He gave us the model. We need to be able to do that. But it's not easy. It's not easy. But with God, all things are possible. So we have to look at it in that light. So all of a sudden, he comes in, and I got to be real fast because I'm getting to go. I was running late, I'm sorry. It says, for, what, what, for whatever, for first, for whatever was written in the former days was written for our instructions. Mm -hmm. So he comes in and, 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 and leads us so that by steadfastness mm -hmm. and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. So we yes. come yeah. in and let us know about the patience. So what? Jesus is coming in and he's doing something different. He's giving us direction and he's giving us a, 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 a way to go. And he comes in the field first and says, May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus. And he rolls over to the sixth verse and says, So that together you may have one voice, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why is it important to have one voice? Why is it important to have one voice? God is in the midst. God is in the midst? What else? Mm -hmm. What happens when you're together? Stuff get done. In the Stuff get done. Mm -hmm. All right, if we all had a piece of chain and we kept, I said, I'm going to keep my chain myself. Mm -hmm. And as uh, 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 Sister Deborah said, I'm going to keep my chain. Sister Wall said, I'm going to keep my chain. And we need to pull a car or something. Mm -hmm. Now, if we hook those things together and we all check along, it's much easier than me going and trying to say, well, I'm going to put my little piece. <laughs> right. So the, the unity comes together. So realizing that it's okay to disagree. It's okay to, but you compromise and you come together and you pray about what is going on, but you come together and he wants us to be unified and come together glorifying the Lord and realizing what the Lord has done. Now, he comes in real fast and says, welcome, seven verse, welcome one another as therefore just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God in order that he might confirm the promises given to the ancestors. Paul does, it, oh, does a good job he wants to relate to them um, the, the law of Moses, the promises that were given in the Old Testament, and he comes in and says that Gentiles have a right. Now, who does God want to save? Everybody. Everybody. Jew and Gentiles. You know, so you have to understand that he comes in and he wants us all to be unified. He wants the Jews and the Gentiles to be unified and come together as one, coming to the Lord and realizing what Jesus has done. So he comes in the ninth verse and he says that, and the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore I will confess you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. He comes in the tenth verse and now again he says, rejoice. Old Gentiles mm -hmm. with his people, and eleven verse, and again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let the people praise him. Mm -hmm. And he comes in, and Paul does his unique thing, goes back to the book of Isaiah, and he says, And Isaiah said, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the generations of uh, Gentiles, excuse me, and in him the Gentiles shall hope, have hope. So he comes there and he talks about the root of Jesse. Who's the root of Jesse? Who's, it, who's on the root of Jesse? David. 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 And he goes down and look at the lineage all the way to Jesus. So you have to, he coming in and letting us know exactly what's going on. Now, he comes there and he says, the last verse is made, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing so that you may abound in the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So he's coming in and he's trying to just tell us we have a true hope now. We have a way that has been provided. We have direction. We can have peace and we can have joy and we can come together and realize that God has given us a way to come back in relationship with them and that there's power that has been given to all. This is a good, good lesson. I do want the pastor to come in and talk a little bit more 
But when we come in and you look at this, you look at what God wants us to be power filled. He wants us to understand that we have an obligation to love our brothers as ourselves. And we need to love and live uh, a, a life and realize that we do have power through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So he wants us, in other words, there's a good uh, movie I used to like, and this title of it, it says, Do the Right Thing. He wants us to do the right thing. <laughs> do the right. Come on, Pastor, and talk to us a little bit. Amen. Praise God. I talked already. I talked a little <laughs> bit more. Amen. We have to remember also the circumstances, too. Yes. The, the way. It was called the way back then. The way was being opened up not just to the uh, to the Jews, but now it's being opened to the Gentile. When Jesus was on the earth and, and doing what he was doing, he was speaking most of it to what? The Jewish people. Right. Not to Gentiles. Even when he went to the, uh, to the uh, uh, what is it, uh, the uh, Saint Samaritans or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, even with them, they were still a part of the family. Yes, they were. Paul is moving outside of the family and going into what? The Gentile, the Gentile. area where the Jews and the Gentiles are together, right? Yes, sir. And remember, yes, they hated everybody yes, else. And that yes, was the law. Yes, Tell yes, them all. Yes, throw them all. They yes, ain't no good. Don't you fool with them. Don't mix yourself up with them. Right. Don't you get their practice. Don't you get But Jesus coming and said, no, for God so loved the world. world. Yes, yes. So now it's got to step out from where you are uh -huh. to where everybody else are, is. Amen? Amen? And you know what? I couldn't even use you because you had a hard head. Uh -oh. yes, yes, yes. Come on now. Yeah. And then one of your great leaders who used to go out there and kill everybody who was trying to do what I was telling them to do, I would knock him off the horse and now he's doing what I need to do. <laughs> and Paul knew it because he was first hand. Yeah. Yeah. He knew what the deal was. He, he was the biggest hater yeah. there yeah. was. Yeah. He, he went and asked, can I go out and kill him if even they even look like what they were supposed to do. Yeah. I didn't know God would change. Yeah. God yeah. a change your thought, change your mind, change your ways, amen? Thank you, Lord. And let you know that we need all of us, amen? All of us. Each and every one of us, and we're all different. Yeah. We all think different, we all do different, yeah. but there's only one God, one faith, one baptism, yeah. one all and all, and we got to be together. Thank you, Lord. And all of us are not the same. Some of us weak in one area, some of us weak in another area, you know, and so we need to stop judging one another. Yeah, Look amen. beyond faults we and are. see need. Pray about things, pray about situations, pray about circumstances. Be the bigger man, that don't mean yeah. that you're bigger than them, amen. Yeah. Be the bigger woman, that don't mean <laughs> that you mean more than the other one to yeah. God, yeah. but it means that you could take the servant step. Jesus, when he was doing his washing the feet area, amen, he was washing his feet. And what Peter said, you don't need to wash my feet. He said, wait a minute. If I can't wash your feet, you can't be a part of my ministry. Man, and then man. Peter want to go, oh, well, you wash my whole body. Oh, my he man. said, if you want to be in charge, you need to know how to serve people. You know how to treat people. You need to step down and have humility, man, amen. Man, man. Even though you got power, even though you got the right, even though you got the Holy Spirit, you got to step down and meet a man a woman on their own level. Mm, that right. don't mean you got to break your law or do what they do, but meet them at their own and don't judge them. God looked beyond your faults. Say this. Say this. Say huh? this. And saw so your needs. Say this. God took care of you when you weren't even worthy to be taken care of. Mm. God sent somebody to lift you up, to put up with yeah, you, to yeah. put up with your headache, to put up with you oversleeping, to put up with you <laughs> your drugs, to put up with your anger, to put up with all that stuff, and they didn't let you go. Thank you, Lord. And Thank yet, you. we don't forget about that, amen? Amen. And go out there and judge the ones standing on the street, judge our neighbors, judge those we need to see. Yeah. God look beyond our faults. We need to look beyond other folks' faults. Now, don't get dangerous. Amen. Amen. God ain't telling you to go out there and get killed or nothing. Amen. 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 But God needs to say you need to show love. Love. Come on. Love. That's it. When I was uh, in one of the uh, uh, units out there where I work in the prison, uh -huh. there was one man out there. He was just in pain. He would, we would come in and we would have talk about God and he would just slander, just say anything that just... You know, stab me and point me, and they everybody, oh no, he's the chaplain. I said, no, let him talk. Yeah. yeah. You know, God's with me. I prayed about it. We started talking and going back and forth. And yeah. he, he started saying something that was true and thought I was going to say. I said, yeah, it's true. 
He said, you're the first man. I said, because I believe in God. I know God can handle it. And yes, that's one of the truths that happens within Christianity. He stepped back a little bit, uh -huh. and he thought he was going to jump on board. No, he came back with something else. Come uh -huh. on, he was just going and going and going. And we were sitting up, and I was going back with the Bible. He was going back with stuff. And, uh -huh. and, and, and then all of a sudden, it came out. Uh -huh. When I was young with my mom and dad in the church, and I started talking this stuff, my mom and dad threw me out of the church. Uh -huh. I said, Daddy, that's right there. there it is. I said, you are being trauma. You are living in a trauma, so you fight me. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. Man, man. You want the word. You know the word. You know how it is. You were mistreated. That's it. I'm not going to do that. Yes. I'm not going to treat you that way. And he yes. calmed right on down. Well, he said, I like you. Well, you never know when you push love on somebody. Come on, yes. amen. amen. Then had another situation with the preacher just left out of here, amen. The situation, circumstances happened with us. And, 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 and this particular uh, uh, waitress, we, I, we had put a tip on the table, amen, and I didn't have any more cash. I was just going to put it on the credit card. So when we went up to pay, amen, you heard her in the corner say, look at them over there. I've been working so hard for them. They ain't giving me but $5, but I could hear them. Uh-huh. I got it. And, you know, first thing you would think, I ain't giving them nothing, you know, so they don't want to talk it. But I didn't. I went ahead and did what I needed to do, went back to the table. Amen. He come back in here. He know what happened, amen. <laughs> and, uh, and what happened is, you know, I saw it, and I stopped her, and I pulled her to the side. Didn't embarrass her or nothing. Right. And I told her, look, you were there talking to your friends, amen, trying to put us down, talking we didn't pay you and all that kind of stuff. I didn't have but five dollars. I put the rest on the credit card. Oh, I was having a bad day. I said, a bad day or not, you, you messed up your integrity with me. Uh, yeah, man. You embarrassed yourself. You weren't embarrassing me. And now, and all the people in the in the restaurant was looking. Uh -huh. You know, not the people, but the her 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 uh, her, her Dork, workers Dork, yeah. and the cashier, and they were looking like, oh, they're gonna start something. But I knew if you put love on top of hate, hey. come on now, hey. you put love on top of top of top of the fire. Come on now, yep, yep. the fire turned into ice, and the love turned into fire. Hey. It burned hey. 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 That's bad. Come on, love conquers all. You know, I'd go back and ask for her to, to be the waitress right. for me again, and again, and again, and show her love. Amen? You never know what seeds you're planting. Fair, fair, fair. And what you're going to grow. Thank you, Lord. And what's going to come out of it. And it may not that you were even planting a seed in, 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 in her heart with me or with that printer. It might have been a seed in me. Yes, sir. Learn how to improve me. Man. Learn how to me trusting what God say, doing it, doing it God way, and seeing that it work. Come on now. Man. And going from what? Glory to glory, glory to glory, glory to glory, glory, to, glory, glory to what I need to do. Thank you, Lord. But somebody watching me. Yes, sir. Come on. Everybody. Somebody can see what's going on. Man. 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 So we, we, we got to be what the empowered sir. Yeah. We got to walk. We can't walk perfectly. But we can walk the right as we can. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In our decisions and in our reaction and all that we do, think Thank about what Jesus would do. Jesus, what he says is that when all that stuff happened, he says, the result of those who insult you have fallen on me. Because uh -huh. of mine, says the Lord, I will repay. It belonged to me. Uh -huh. You don't handle that. I take care of it. You just do what I tell you to do. You don't want to carry that weight. You don't want to be mad. You don't want to be insulted. You don't want to be kicked out of the place. Come on, amen. Walk the way you are, I tell you to walk. Talk the way I, I tell you to walk. And guess what? You'll be able to go out and make disciples. Thank Come you. on. Teaching them all that they need to know. Mm -hmm. And you be a big example. Be that empowered servant. God bless you. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good 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 Thank you.